Pizza time! Welcome back, everybody. Okay, I think I remember how to get into that junkyard now. Uh, I messed around a little bit, and there was an item I had forgotten to pick up. Wait a second, can I get out of here? Ah, here we go. Alrighty, let's go back over here. I forgot to get the lock. There we go. So now we head back to the junkyard and put the lock on the latch. Now we can use this cable, or this chain rather, to climb over the wall. Look at that. Like a Mission Impossible style, man. Uh, junk. Hell yeah, junk. Alright, now there is a dog here, and I'm gonna show you this cutscene. Kinda funny. It's like, okay, I'll go over here, maybe look for some new forks for the bike. And, oh, what do you know? A horrible junkyard dog. What are we supposed to do? I'll show you what we're supposed to do. Take this here meat. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Put it in that there car. Bon appetit, bud. Now, we're not done yet. Not done quite yet. Is there anything in this car? It keeps showing up, like I can click on it. Cars. No thank you. <laughs> Some reason I don't think Ben likes cars very much. Let's head back over. Didn't mean to exit actually. What we gotta do is head on over yonder and Go into this crane control here. I love the music in this game, very moody. Fits very well with the uh, the atmosphere. Okay, let's climb up here. And we put that meat in there for a reason. It's not because we love that dog, it's because we need to get rid of him. Turn on the magnet. And... I think this lowers the magnet there. There we go. And let's lift it up. And I think that's as far as it goes. Now we don't have to worry about that mutt uh, messing with our uh, with our quest here. Now we can go get those forks, wherever the hell they are. Wait a minute. Do I have to? That's one ill-tempered mongrel. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, uh, junk. Alright, now we gotta go find some forks for our bike. Now, the question is, where the hell are we gonna go look? Maybe in this parts pile. <clears throat> there we go, that was easy. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Right, but um, that's it? Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. Surprise? I don't know if I, I like surprises. surprises. Yeah, me too. All right, I just said that. Here she comes. Hot damn! How cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Hell yeah! Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Because you have so many. Send me a postcard from the ambush. And Ben is off to go stop the ambush, or at least try. Yeah, sorry about catching your place on fire. 
Ah, she won't mind. <laughs> Look at how metal this fucking game is. That is metal. Alright, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? Nope. Keep looking. Both those guys from the tower? Great. We're gonna have to get by him somehow. I think I know just the way. It'll cause us another little, uh, alarm. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Suckers! Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. <gasps> dun dun dun! In a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. <gasps> you shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? A uh, really it's annoying a lady. Hole. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's my camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boss. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! I'm your father! Don't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Ripperger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying. And he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Dear God! What a monster! You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <laughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Maureen? Ouch. Ripburger's way ahead of me. 
I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Oh, I think she'll be fine. Mm. Now I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rick, but I think that pile is bullets. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the memo. Hmm. One second, but maybe I didn't. Dun dun dun! All right, next time we are gonna find out what happened to Mo, who is apparently the daughter of Mr. Corley. So next time, the plot thickens.